friends, Hal here. Today we're doing a live chat from Quail Studios. It is March 4th, 2016. It is 10 o'clock in the morning and we have started. Can you recognize that? Right? It's one of the most famous classic rock songs of all time. Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Written by Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. All right, first of all, this chord right here, when we start out with the intro, right? So we've got A minor, and it's not a regular A minor like this, but it's related to this bar chord A minor, right? Except it doesn't have those low two strings, the E string and the A string. So he starts out like this, and then the bass note goes down a half step. And you know what? I, I always have to look up this chord to see what it is because I always forget what it is because it doesn't really matter what it is when we do this because it it's a great chord what's happening is that your high notes on the guitar are going from the fifth fret to the seventh fret to the eighth fret which is A B C those are the notes there your notes the bass notes of this go from um, A a flat down to G. Right? So, anyway, uh, that's really what's happening. You've got this um, contra contrary motion happening between the low notes and the upper notes. So that's, that's what makes it really, really exciting. Okay, so, and these two notes are the same. Really, so that's really what's happening in this song is that we've got this contrary motion happening between bass and soprano. And this chord, I call it A flat augmented sharp nine. But anyway, whatever. Going to C with a G bass. Going to a D with an F sharp bass. Going to an F major seven. Basically a G chord. Now, um, I think you might have B's there going to, but it's really a G chord going to an A minor chord. That F major seven going to a G going to an A minor. Let's talk about that for a minute. What key are we in? We're in the key of A minor, and the notes for A minor are A B C D E F G. Okay, and those are the notes in the scale, and F. G, A, the last three notes of the scale. So the notes in the scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Now those are the natural notes, the notes in the natural scale. That F chord, which is a major, you know, it's an F major seven, but it's a major chord with that major seven interval on it. Going to a G chord, which is a major chord, going to an A minor chord. It's like a substitute um, cadence, right? Instead of a four, five, one, it's a six, seven, one. So this happens a lot in this song, especially at the end, right? F chord, going to a G chord, A minor. So it goes A minor, G, F, G, A minor. That's the end of the song. But right here, we have the same thing happening. G to A minor. Then we do the whole thing again. Right? Then after that section, we go to C chord to D chord, F major 7, A minor. Which is really interesting because you're starting this section off on C. What's interesting about that is that C major is the relative major to A minor. So we really haven't changed keys at that point. I mean, really gone very far away. Except we're starting on C, but then the D chord is interesting because the D chord has an F sharp in it, and F sharp is not in the A minor natural. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. But it is in what we call the melodic minor scale. Right? That's when you sharp the sixth note of the scale and the seventh note of the scale 
going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you do that, you get a D major chord, which is your four chord. So you got C, which is F major seven, which is really going back to the minor, the uh, natural minor scale. A minor, C, G. Now we're kind of acting like we're in the key of C major or something. But then we go to D sus4 to D. So it's almost like we're in the key of G major, sort of. It would be, if we were in the key of G major, it would be the C would be the four chord, the G would be one, and the D would be five. Same progression. D and then F major seven. Going to A minor. There's a lady who should, right? Interesting chord progressions here. I don't know if I would have thought of them. Just fantastic. Now next what happens here is that we have uh, in the chorus. Right? A minor seven with that seven on the top. To D, sus4 to D, right? Which is the, the four chord in the A minor scale. And, you know, with uh, melodic minor. Back to A minor. Seven to A minor. And then we get this E minor with a D bass to a D to the C with a D bass to a D chord. Right? Which is really a great little progression. To me, this E minor, D, C to D is really reminiscent of the E minor scale because if we were in E minor, right, that would actually be a great progression for E minor. So it's almost like we step out of A minor for a minute and go into E minor. And what would E minor be? E would be the five, the five chord of the A minor uh, scale, the A minor natural minor scale. So it makes sense. So it, it's kind of interesting because it feels like we're, we're modulating from one key to another. There's a feeling I get when I look to the west And my spirit is crying for me In my thoughts I have seen Now we, what we do here is when he does the next two lines he um, actually does the same chord progression. So we've got C, C with the B bass going to A minor back to C. Now this, this little thing that he does classic chord progression. Um, what's happening here is we've got this C to B to A to B to C, okay? Um, it, it's just like... You know that song by Led Zeppelin? It's called Tangerine. Oops. C. That's the same chord progression as we were just doing in Stairway to Heaven. Right, so it's very classic. And then we go to F major 7. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not F major 7. F to A minor. F has two notes in common with A minor. Let me do it again. In my thoughts I have seen rings of smoke through the trees and the voices of those who stand looking. A minor, seven, and then it goes back into the chorus. So we're back to the chorus. Well, thanks for coming by, everybody. Appreciate it. Um, thanks for checking us out here on the live chat today. 
Hope we answered some of your questions about what's going on with Stairway to Heaven or maybe gave you some insights that you never thought of before. So we'll talk to you later. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon, on Twitter, over on Facebook, and on Instagram. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.